Right, so you find me doing a bit of a, an unusual walk, which is I'm coming in at the bottom end, or more or less the bottom end, of a plot of land, which is mostly woodland, uh, which here runs parallel to Alder Hills. And when we come out through the other end, it will be Talbot Drive, which is a road just off of Wallace Down Main Road. So, once again, we're really not far from buildings and roads, but right in the middle is no another area that I, until a few weeks ago, never been to before. A bit tucked away. It's at the bottom of a long road past the school, primary school. And over there, there's a strange kind of bit of fields not used for anything, but... The main thing I want to show you is um, this. You can see houses over to the right. And this lovely bit of woodland walk, which I should imagine is more or less only used by people walking their dogs again. Um, there's no one around tonight. It's about half past seven. <clears throat> Friday night. Who'd have thought on a Friday evening I'd be doing this sort of thing? Um, anyway, as I've said in my last video, or some of them, obviously there's not much difference between one woodland area and another, but I just thought I'd show you, if you live in the Wallace Down area, or just Bournemouth generally, you're probably, like me, fascinated by all these places that we, until this whole COVID situation happened, would never have visited, more than likely. I've done about seven or eight now, different places I go to. Uh, I've got my favourites, obviously, but I just thought I'd do this one for a change. Um, that's the way I came in. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of the forest around here. It's only small, really, but... If you live nearby, these places are a nice way to take in a, a walk and a bit of air. Now, again, I don't know much history about this place, but what I find fascinating is how they suddenly bit the stop building and then start again. What, what reason do they have for leaving bits and, and why then just little plots of land and then we're going to start over there and you know houses up there if you understand what I mean and obviously at one point this was a continuation of Talbot Woods I should imagine because if you go straight over there you'll come to the main road and then it carries on so yeah just a quick flip of this bit because in all fairness there's not a lot to see but like I say it's quite nice um, I'm not going to go too climbing too high because it is quite steep this bit. Um, but I will show you. So I came in across that way. Um, but this is the way I came the first time, so I'm going to reverse it. This is very steep. Good bit of exercise. I've done enough exercise today, I've got to be honest. Cracking on with the garden at last. And I suspect you've all got a little piece of... A nature walk you could do near you. Well, most people will do, I should think. Unless you live in a big city. So through here on the left, you can see... In fact, this is where I'm going to come down. A little clearing. So just over there is the main road, Older Hills. Talbot Heath, they call it. And indeed, it is a heath. I 
And yes, I have brought my magic new torch in case it gets dark, but I don't think it'll get dark for a little while yet. Let's see if the path I took to go in. These places are quite magical when they're empty and I'm always amazed by how you can have these huge open spaces and be the only person in it. And if you've had that sort of experience then please put something in the comments because I'm interested to know. Look at this fantastic tree. You can see that, it's getting a bit dark, but I couldn't resist doing this today. Magnificent. I'm going to try and find my way out now. In fact, this is not the way out, or is it? No, it isn't. I've come the wrong way. been lost twice in Kinston Common because it's a bit of a maze. Oh yeah, I remember now. <clears throat> so this just takes me up to Talbot Drive, like I say, which is just a little road off of um, Wallace Down Main Road. Again, not very far from where I live at all. What I would do is just take the car to park at the top of the road because I wanted to take the boring part out of the, the walk. And there's the playing field of the school. So people quite often walk down there for the, with their dogs and go from main road to main road. Now, if you've been following my Facebook posts, Weeks ago, you'll have seen me do some pictures of this. Some stills when it was a little bit brighter at the height of the summer. But I can understand if it all starts to look like the same thing after a while. But anyway, gosh, I'm out of breath now. Just a quick one. And you can see new build houses over there. Right. So... This is me, so the sign's up there leading to Alder Road. Brittle Way to East Avenue. And if you go all the way to the left there, eventually it joins on to Koi Pond Road, which I've only covered by pictures, but I'll probably do a short video of that in the gardens very soon. So, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, if indeed you still are. <laughs>